So for this particular activity, we were, uh, we were given uh, a year level and then we were asked to choose from a range of different uh, tasks, assessment tasks, and try to find one that actually matched the year level. Once we matched up a task for a year level, we were then asked to look for the various components of that assessment task that lined up with the achievement standards for the year level. The most useful insight from doing this was the complexity we found taking somebody else's assessment task and trying to match it up against the achievement standards. The teachers found that quite difficult, it was quite an eye opener and it showed them how difficult it is to actually do that matching up when you're using somebody else's task. It was a really enjoyable activity, I happened to work with a year eight teacher and I'm an early years teacher so that was really good because I could give him clarification around some activities that he was unsure about and likewise for me. And um, we, it, was in, it was engaging because I guess we had really rich conversations about what the task actually meant and then how was that child showing that they understood the task or the math that was involved. So I think I had a deeper understanding of not only the task but the maths that that task was requiring the child to use. and. Prove, I guess. I thought the activity was actually really worthwhile and I would use it in my role. Um, I'd use it, one way I'd use it and adapt it slightly is, for example, I'd gather perhaps three teachers or a small group of teachers who are teaching like year level to um, foster that rich conversation around what it, the tasks that we could be giving our students or we are. And I would ask them to perhaps choose a content descriptor, we'd choose a, agree on a content descriptor we wanted to look at, then I'd ask them to bring three work samples that gave evidence of high to middle to low um, working and then we'd have conversations about and justifying why we felt it and met that content descriptor. And I think given that it, it offers a chance to have lots of rich conversations and develops that collegiality and also um, some more consistency around how we're marking children's work. Now if I was using this in my own school, I would tend to start off doing the same thing initially to show the teachers how complex it is to take somebody else's task and actually match it against achievement standards and then they would see the benefit of why it would be important to actually start with the achievement standards and actually use them as the basis for devising their assessment tasks to match it.